If we wanted to write like Shakespeare, what would we have to do? First, we would need to absorb the full range of rhetorical figures he learned about at school. Second, we would be steeped in the Bible and medieval literature. Third, we would read the identifiable source materials he used in English, Latin, French, and Italian, as well as works translated from Greek and Portuguese. We would need access to a large range of books, which we would read challengingly and with a strong memory. The poetry of Christopher Marlowe and the prose of John Lilly would dazzle us, but we would strive to do even better. Occasionally, we would collaborate with other writers. Like an alchemist, we would be able to turn the base metal of our reading into gold. In Shakespeare's hands, Plutarch's fine description of Cleopatra in her barge becomes like a burnished oil painting, lyrical, erotic, enigmatic. We would write for a company of actors whose skills we knew intimately, and most of the time for a cast of ten men and three boys. And we would manage all this with a quill pen and homemade ink.